We made some changes to the chicken coop. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. You could probably hear our chickens in the background. We have made some modifications and I'm just really excited to show you guys the updates. I'm really hoping that the changes we made will have happier chickens and get more eggs soon. We already got one egg this morning, so if there is another one, I will be super excited. But let's go ahead and check out our changes. So the first big change is I have like staple gun some chicken wire to this opening area and to the side and just kind of tried to make it as secure as possible so that these girls could have a little bit more free range area to, you know, dig for worms and bugs underneath the cage. And I have a very poorly built um, security system on the other side that I will show you guys. It's not the prettiest, it's just temporary and I didn't want to spend any money on it so I just used all these extra things that we had lying around. So up there is a little door where the chickens can come out. I like dug little trenches and put these pallets in so that they can't get out to our other side like of the yard and they can come down here go underneath. I did put a little hook down here to hang at their water so it doesn't get all gross because they always kick around dirt and then a little platform to put their food on so that again it doesn't get too dirty and we don't have a lot of waste. Once I let them out I do pull a big pallet up here and just kind of secure it in again. This is not pretty at all, very temporary, because we do have plans to shift this entire coop four feet this way, and then Juan is gonna actually build like a full-on cage that will give them the same amount of space to more free range, and then not have to just be like secured in their little back area back there. So let's go ahead and let these ladies out, um, and I'll kind of secure this, sprinkle some chicken feed and stuff, and we'll check for any more eggs, and I'll show you guys the inside. So like I said, this is in no way pretty, but it serves its purpose. So Juan finally did what I asked. He added something so that we can go ahead and hang this door so we don't have to have it resting on our heads. So let's go ahead and see if there's any eggs and lock this up. Sometimes this gets jammed, but luckily, no. Oh, you can already see one of our changes. So there you go. Now it doesn't have to be resting on my head. So here's one of the biggest changes that we made. So we, for a while we had three different nesting boxes and this little ledge or only went up like this hive to divide them. And they were sitting on them and pooping on this whole area, pooping in the nesting box. So I said, Juan, let's just create one nesting box, make it all the way up top so they can't like perch on it and poop. I added some fabric that I had on hand. I would have liked like a black and white um, buffalo print, but this is fun. I think it's, you know, fun for Aubrey to see. So we have our one nesting box. I wanted a ledge so that they don't kick in a bunch of dirty pine. And then I said, let's just add another perch over here that's further from that door so that they don't like get as cold. So they have two different perches to choose from. And it looks like we have another egg. I'm so excited. This is like the first time that we've gotten two in a day. So I... I think that this was a good idea. <laughs> the other change that we made in here was Juan added two lights that are actually powered by solar, powered by the sun. 
Um, you can see like the little cord coming up right there. And the solar panel is kind of stuck to the top. It's right, let's see if I figure it right there. Uh, there's a solar panel there and I think there's a solar panel on the other side as well. And the purpose for those lights is that when they are in here, let's say in the morning and we sleep in, they turn on so that it feels like, okay, it's daytime, let's get up, let's start moving. And then at nighttime they turn off. So it really helps keep it light in here for when the chickens are in here and you know are supposed to be awake. Also, if you are wondering why we put a curtain, apparently they like their privacy, they like it to be nice and dark, and so with the lights in there, this does kind of shade from, you know, any light that comes in on that side, and, you know, we have a big wall right here anyway, so this is a nice dark enclosed area. Uh, again, I wanted a ledge to keep all of the poopy pine, you know, out from when they kick it, so I won't have to change this pine as often because as you guys can see, you know, it can get pretty dirty in there. And so I just don't want that tracked in and I don't want it, you know, getting all over our beautiful little eggs here. So like I said, we're gonna be scooting this over four feet and then Juan is gonna be opening up that back portion and building a four by eight foot enclosed area so that they can roam around on this side. And I don't have to have this messy looking contraption over there on the other side. The other benefit to that is this door that swings open from their coop. Um, I can open that up and clean it out while they are kind of free ranging on this side and you know they'll be out of the way and I'll be on the opposite side of the coop. If you're wondering why I have that, it's also to protect from air predators. We don't want hawks coming in and taking our chickens. I did have something else kind of covering this other side, which I'll probably put up in a second. It's this like Aubrey's play area thing. I just kind of push it over again, just to kind of protect from air predators. I don't want anything happening to our little girls. So that's kind of our coop update. Uh, I'm super like excited to be getting these eggs. And so sometimes I, I kind of, now that I have this like constant flow of them, I'm like in the mood to bake all the time and kind of related. <laughs> I, uh, I've been using my eggs to make conchas and I've been selling them. I'm so excited. My neighbor was the first one to order them and everyone who I make the conchas for, they say like they're the best that they've ever had. So it really warms my heart because I'm a words of affirmation person, but I mean, I'm I'm just excited that like you know I'm making something that people enjoy and now I'll be able to have like a little another side hustle for that so I have shared the recipe in the past uh, but I'll probably make like a side-by-side -side comparison using my bread machine and using my stand mixer so stay tuned for a video on that comparison but I hope you guys enjoyed our little coop tour right now uh, get ready for a Costco haul in the next video and I'll catch you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.